I, uh, this is a Jericho production, and also, uh, wait a minute, production, Jericho here. Today I'm going to talk about three new boxes of stuff. Mm. It's not an unboxing, but it's just showing you the relative size and price of the things that I bought. Well, I went to Chow Kids to look at some of the wholesalers for such toys and lo and behold I found some that do sell toys, Gundam toys and as you can see I bought three and this is an impulse buy I bought it from like two companies one is called the Union 8 Syndrome Heart Toy Shop which I got this Sinan Yu from and these two, two of these from a toy shop called, I'm not sure, Toy City, is it? I'm not sure. I'll go check. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Please, wait a minute. Comparison. We got the Sinanju and the rest. Okay. If I knew that I could actually get wholesale price or cost almost to cost price, not that I mean I don't know the cost price, but maybe it's almost the cost price, but it's still expensive in my humble opinion since I'm a supervisor. If I knew that there was a place that existed, wholesale toy shops, I would have gone there and Chow Kid was the place. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wasted my time going from toy shop to toy shop in those big shopping malls because the shopping malls would have exorbitant rent rates. So that in turn will be reflected in the cost or in the price retail price of the products that they sell thus making all these pirated Gundams more expensive than their cost maybe two or three times more expensive than how much those toy shops paid the wholesaler so yeah, Chow Kid is the place to get all these types of Gundams and I will recommend a couple of them to you So. When I went to Chow Kid, I mean, I remember Chow Kid as a place that is very, very dodgy. My sister and her mate would at night go there to look at the transfer states. Yes, this is a common occurrence among the Malaysian youth. We go around looking for transfer states. Not to solicit their services, but just to look at them. Uh, that's how we go pathetic lot aren't we I wasn't that keen on it and Chow Kid is also an area where drug users are abundant I went there in broad daylight and there was some dodgy people wanting to talk to me and I said fuck off I didn't say fuck off I just walked away ignoring those people don't know what they wanted but for sure it involves my money in their hands so I went to Chow Kid and well, it was so bloody hard to find a place because I am not a native of KL. I'm not familiar with KL. It has been like 8 to 10 years since I've been here or used the roads here. I mean, I mean I've been in KL many times but never by my own self riding a bike. Yep, it's quite dangerous but still doable. Just hope that your luck is good and you won't die. So I went to the first shop uh, which is Time Toy Bar Enterprise and and I got two two impulse buys and they are 
they have a lot of boxes of this mobile suit 033 full armor unicorn with the full complement of weapons and shit the retail price at that shop was 180 bucks and I asked the fellow whether I can get 50% off or not even though I'm not a member if I was not a member I was entitled to 30% off so I badgered him, pleaded with him, kissed his foot, kissed his cheek kissed every, every part of his body in order to get at least 50% I didn't get 50% much I get I think I got 45% so this is the first impulse buy uh, it's a master grade means it's 1 out of 100 scale which I'm not that fond of but I get a feeling that the unicorn was much bigger in is like slightly less than a perfect grade size maybe 80% of a perfect grade for sure and the weapons are quite impressive and it comes with this green unicorn with booster packs of fuel tanks and some kind of uh, what are you bobsled type of space uh, flying thingy whatever I haven't opened it it's by a TT only or as other people would call it Gao Gao it should be good because this uh, Chinese company is reputedly better than GHB and or, or the model GD type in terms of plastic and stuff so it's quite a huge box huge box there were like six boxes of these so if you like unicorn go there and buy it and hopefully the owner will like you enough to give you at least 50% off and another impulse buy was this I'm not sure this is a MSA001 exterior EX5 fighter it's a transformable I don't like transformables because I don't like transforming anything but it, it looks sick when it's posed on an action base holding a super rifle yeah look at its size it's like a PG size and the box is quite big very long and its retail price is 200 bucks box it was the only box left on the top shelf so I was like tempted I I am not sure which Gundam anime it comes from I'm not so keen on it but it it is a huge Gundam I think and as I say it's an impulse buy it's a 1 hour 100 scale a master grade so I got these two boxes for 200 bucks so theoretically speaking this is 50% off and this is almost 50% so I should have gotten 90 bucks for this one since it's 180 bucks but I paid 200 bucks instead of 190 bucks so yeah 100 bucks for each just to make things simpler so size comparison between these two two models gotten from Time Toy Bar I didn't get any perfect grades unfortunately so you can as you can see the unicorn armor full armor is much thicker but but this one the X S is much longer very long uh, almost twice as long yep this is only unicorn is only thicker than this but this is much longer twice as long very long I haven't opened it yet I haven't checked the contents but heck I think I'll wait for a few months until I open it well almost approaching the 10 minute mark I think I'll start a new part 2 thank you Malaysia and bye bye so this is part 2 of uh, what do you call wait a minute production so this Sinanju, wow, I never thought that I would actually find a Sinanju which is which does not cost 200 bucks. I found uh, what you call in Ipoh, the Parks and Grand, the shop, or book, Chinese bookshop in the middle of all the shops. It does not have a shop lot but it's just in the middle of the damn atrium. 
sold this at a retail price of 200 bucks. I didn't dare to ask them whether how much I can get it for at a discount rate because I didn't know such discount rates existed at all. So the retail price for this is 150 bucks. Yep, 150 bucks. And I went there and asked them, can I get it for 100 bucks? And they consulted the computer and lo and behold, yes, 100 bucks is all right. And the company is Union 8 Sunyan Bahad. Nice people. These two companies are very good. They at least give you a good discount rate. I would have preferred them to give me at 75 bucks, but what the heck. So I cons after knowing the price, 100 bucks, I consulted my wallet and lo and behold I didn't have enough money. I didn't have 100 bucks because I spent most all my almost all my cash on these two. 200 bucks, gone, finish, finito, kaboom, bye bye. But the Sinanju, I needed to buy it, even though it's a master grade. I needed to buy this for my friend Zams, or Zari Abdul Muhammad, because he bet that, or he said that he would eat pork if I helped him to acquire a Sinanju master grade and a freedom master grade, and also to use my spare time to assemble both of these products. He didn't he does not like food leg products or in case here is Titi Honey or Gao Gao. So he said two hundred and fifty bucks for uh, original OVA two thousand thirteen made Sinanju is alright. I found that at uh, a Bandai sale at their headquarters near Chiras or Daman Kono KL. 250 bucks. I at the time of that sale, I didn't have that type of money, and I would never spend that much money on such a thing. My the most I can spend is 100 bucks for master grades. For perfect grades, 150 maybe. Yeah, 150. So this is the box, the Sinanju box. So this is not the OVA version, which if I'm not mistaken, it's an improvement in design, especially around the waist, which poses a lot of problems in terms of breakage. So, tough luck. Don't play with this once it's done too much, especially around the waist. It's not a transformer, it's not a toy, it's a model. <coughs> so that's about it. I, w I, I left that shop, the Union 8, thinking that I might go and get money from the ATM machine and I walked around looking for other toy shops and some of the toy shops like Toy City they didn't have any Gundams because they were sold out so uh, that's the thing with wholesalers once they are gone, they are gone and yeah, that's about it about them so I couldn't find any others and I consulted my, t my wallet again and yes! I got exactly 90 bucks in cash, as in in paper currency, and haha, ha, I went back and asked them, hey, can you like sell it to me for 90 bucks, and they said, yeah, sure, no problem, fuck, I should have asked them for 75 bucks since I didn't actually see this 150 mark or retail price because the Sinanjus were up above, I couldn't reach for them, I should have ask them for 75 bucks but 90 bucks is alright because in the net in the master, master Gundam master block spot or whatever a Malaysian guy he is selling at 100 to 130 if I'm not mistaken so 90 bucks is alright but I would have been happier with 75 bucks be, being a miser but definitely if I was given 75 bucks I would have liked it to be 36 bucks or this. Well, I think that's about it. And look, this is my artwork I've been doing. It's a very long artwork consisting of three, no, one, two, three, four, five, six consecutive A2 paper plastered, no, 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 duct taped together. It is a very long a piece of artwork. Look at this here. This is a stool. A groin 
height stool that is a very huge artwork. That's what I do for a living. If you want any, just tell me. I'll give you a good price. <laughs> As if. So, yeah. I asked my friend Zams. Yes, he promised to eat pork even though he's Muslim. If I did all these things for him. So, I asked him whether he wants perfect grade, uh, perfect grade what? Perfect grade strike or not. And he said, mm, if it's good, no, maybe, yeah. Well, 150 bucks at this store, Bumi Utaru Resources, uh, near the digital mall. And, uh, I don't know which Pataling Jaya, SS something, I'm not sure. So, they are having a 50% sale, and I bought that uh, model GD Strike Rogue with a uh, fighter at 120 bucks. That's a fucking huge box, and I already sent it back home. And, um, yeah, 120 bucks for such a big, huge box. A box that is this size, uh, this height, and this long. Yep, combining two of these boxes that long and that tall. Wow. That will be very, very time consuming to put together. These are my stuff. So, 150 bucks for a perfect great strike Gundam, the white version or the Kira Yamato version. Okay. So, I was thinking if I can get that cheap here, uh, it's considered cheap to other people, no, but not to me. If I can get it at 100 bucks, 100 ringgit for perfect grade, I will buy it and uh, do it for hunt, uh, for Sam's. So, yeah. I think that's about it about my Gundam hunt in Kuala Lumpur. Go to Chow Kit, buy them, and be happy. And hopefully, there are no missing parts or broken parts in those non Bandai stuff. Daban model, I'm not sure about that. And PD Homely, repeatedly better. And GBH, mm, kind of the dodgy. Uh, seems to be dodgy, but the perfect great rouge. Rug, rug, rouge. Is, seems complete. So, yeah. So, guys, go to Union 8 or Toy Bar or anywhere else. Go to the wholesalers in Chowkit and be Gundam Mary. Yeah, I think I need to return to Union 8 because they have a Psycho Gundam High Grade, which is, I mean, High Grade is small, but Psycho Gundam is actually a fucking huge um, machine and it might be perfect grade size. So I might go there and buy buy it if it's like 50 bucks. Yep, 50 bucks. Go there and negotiate with them after buying Sinanju. <laughs>